Hey guys, um, whoops. <laughs> I did a video yesterday called the um, Two Towers. Now I want to show you the date on this. It is, uh, oh shoot, I can't even show you the date. Alright, there we go. It was July 1st, 2014. I did that fast. Okay. Bomb teams train for disaster for disaster at Satsup, and that is where the two towers are. That is the unfinished nuclear power plant where they said the government ran out of money. Our government doesn't run out of money; it just prints more. You think about that one. That that's just the most ironic statement. Now, first, I'm going to tell you um, there were role players here. About let me see if I can get over here and get this for you guys. Um, I may just have to read this, but it's about uh, 300 military police personnel from across the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and the U.K. spent last week at Satsup Business Park as a part of Raven Challenge 8, giving explosive ordnance disposal experts police fire agencies and federal analysis storyline involving multiple terrorist attacks with mainly improvised explosive devices we're responding together we're gathering information where they're going to push that information up to federal agencies who are going to collate that information and look for commonalities and hopefully prevent further attacks now I went on to read some of this and it tells you about the role players and how the bus looked and all the things they blew up and stuff. So on this page, I am not sure. Let me see where A76. No, hold on. This is our little paper. Um, it's called the Daily World. The exercise. Oh, here we go. The exercise. Um, um, they are basing this um, kind of on our scenario here. The inspiration could have been Boston, the Boston bombing. So they're referring to that, the Boston, Boston Marathon last year. So this, has, this is, was a bus scenario. Soldiers from, and these tells you the battalions and stuff. Um, we have military around us constantly here. There is choppers. We know they go to um, Satsa. I mean, this is a direction. It's, it's just a given around here. We know that. Um, I'm not saying... I, I know for a fact Satsa didn't run out of funds. This government doesn't run out of funds when they want to do something. I believe Satsa, because those towers that I showed yesterday, and I'll leave the link below, are for something else. They were they were built, yeah, they spent money on that. It was a diversion. There's tunnels there, and I guess Kenny and I, I will have to go back and show you the drilling equipment left there, which has been there for a long time, and they say now it is to teach the people in Seattle how to drill whatever they're drilling in Seattle, some tunnel. Well, no, and there's also a place, it's just completely a creepy place. Something's going on, and they have a weird power structure there with their lines and and you can hear the electricity it's it's creepy I'm just telling you all around creepy um, but I wanted to put this out there because I had just done a video on it what I called the two towers yesterday so their scenario is the Boston bombing on this but this was people from all over the the world coming to this little rural place in Washington state where a nuclear power plant was supposed to be built it's unfinished and Hollywood also does movies out here it's bizarre. It's totally a bizarre place. And, um, you know, those Hollywood peoples, they um, might even manufacture shit out there. I don't know. Maybe they, some of their scripts come from right down the road from me, and I don't even know it. Um, you know, we you, sometimes in your own backyard, you don't know what's happening. Um, anyway, just wanted to share this with you because this came out today in our paper after doing the video yesterday. I'll leave the video below about the two towers. Peace, everybody.